So the girl you see on your screens at the moment is Nikki Dibabi. A couple of days ago, I think about three or four days ago, this lady was arrested by the Nigerian police force after she was reported for cyberbullying by another lady. So if you were a popular fan of TikTok, now you know um, cute Gemini or Gemini, uh, I don't even know what her name is, and then Nikki Dibabi. These girls look very much alike, so you need to really pay attention to this story to know who is who and who is not who. So these two girls have been fighting over who is the Barbie, who is the cutest. I mean, I'm the Barbie, I'm not the Barbie, that kind of content, something. Meanwhile, the real Barbie is somewhere um, just enjoying herself at the moment. So according to information on the internet, um, Nikki the Barbie was arrested by the police after killed Gemini, reported her for cyberbullying her. Now, this all started, this whole all cyberbullying something started when um, the pages of Nikki Dibabi on Instagram and then TikTok keep getting reported. Her pages were just being taken off. So she instigated her fans to also report um, that is um, killed Gemini's um, page on TikTok and then Instagram. Now, we all know most of these influencers, their life and everything is on their pages. Their, their, their whole page is their business because their numbers and everything helps them um, influence whatever products their clients bring. So if their page is taken down, their whole life is just gone. They have to either start from scratch or maybe reveal the case about the page being taken down so that Instagram or TikTok can just give it back to them. But if you are not if they don't give it back to you, everything is done. Now there's a video whereby Nikki Dibabi was telling her fans to go to the page of Cute Gemini and then report her page because according to her, she's claiming it's a skilled Gemini and then her friends who keep getting her page down they keep reporting her page because they are jealous so that's the video of her instigating her fans to report kill gemini's page after she woke up to an account warning on her tiktok page now i know most of you might know kill gemini from the case of leo frosh now if you don't know leo frosh leo frosh was a signee of davido whose career ended after killed gemini who was um his girlfriend by then reported him to authority authorities i mean and dropped several pictures claiming um leo frosh beat her and then she had internal bleeding and stuff i mean nigerians cancelled this boy without even listening to his side of the story so now that this nikki the barbie's issue is coming out leo frosh has also spoken i mean his story is a story for another day because he has also spoken claiming the girl framed him up and then even after the whole incident the girl is begging to come back again so let's go to nikki's story so nikki was arrested and then detained she was taken to kirikiri prison i don't know if it's the name of the prison or that's how Nigerian rep nigerians refer to prison as but it's a term kirikiri prison yes Bec now she slept there because she wasn't able to meet the jail term she was uh, sorry the bail terms sorry she wasn't able to meet the bail terms this whole thing about who is the barbie who is not the barbie and stuff you know bar um q gemini came out to say she's going to teach nikki the barbie a lesson and she has really taught her a lesson if you really follow this whole thing because she, she made her sleep and kiri kiri and according to information it's alleged that she has someone in the f police force that she can use to oppress you whenever she feels like whenever she feels i mean you've done something against her and then she needs to op oppress you she has somebody in the police force it is alleged so you listen to this video of her talking about she going to see you um nikki the barbie after there was a so that was killed gemini now did you hear what she said she said if anybody should me misbehave she's going to sue that person because she has evidence now indirectly people are claiming she refers to nikki the barbie when they have when they had an issue on tiktok and then she was referring to see when you remember she's saying that you all remember what happened to your favorite now the favorite she's talking about is little frosh this girl came out accusing frosh of 
violence and stuff, which Nigerians cancelled him. Nigerians just, the video dropped him from his record label. Nigerians refused to listen to whatever this guy has to say. And that was how the name of Leo Frost just lost in the current video he posted if you look at this guy before and after you could see you can see he's really suffering he's really suffering from whatever happened years ago anyway there's a video trending on tiktok at the moment with sneaky Barbie out of prison and her family looks very happy we thank god for that and we hope this whole thing whatever kill gemini is planning again for her we just